Welcome back to Diana Marie Home, where I share DIY, cooking from scratch, and creating cozy spaces on a budget in our 1800s farmhouse. Today I'm sharing how I make our favorite basil iced tea using basil that I grow in our garden. Last year I was watching a video from Roots and Refuge Farm and they were making basil tea using basil from the garden and coincidentally I had some basil growing that they were using. Um, they were using a lot of Thai and holy basil, sweet basil, lemon basil, and I had this basil growing called blue spice basil. It was new to me. It was a free seed from Baker Creek, so when you place an order with them, they will send you a free packet of seeds, and I thought this blue spice basil might make a good um, addition to my cut flower bouquet, so I was growing it in my flower garden. And I didn't really like it for the bouquets because it grows bushier for me. So the stems, even though they were long, they were curved. So I couldn't use it in the flowers. But after watching this video, I decided to pick some and try to make some basil tea with it. Oh my goodness. It became our favorite summertime drink. It is so easy to make and so good. It's so refreshing in the summer. And every year I keep some to dry so that we can have some over the winter to remind us of the summertime. I do think the flavor changes. We much prefer it when it's fresh in the summer, but the dried tea is still really good and very reminiscent for us. So I make it every once in a while, but I recently discovered that the dried Blue Spice Basil is so good as a hot tea mixed with dried chamomile that I picked fresh from the garden. So that's been our favorite tea to make in the winter with the Blue Spice Basil. In this video, I am showing you how I make it with the dried basil leaves just because we are in March in New York, so I don't have any basil growing yet. I'll be starting it from seed soon, but this is using some of the dried basil that I saved. So I put about a cup of dried basil leaves in a half gallon mason jar and boiled some water in my smeg kettle. I love using this for teas or herbal infusions. This is technically an herbal infusion. Um, I talk about that more on the blog post that goes along with this in addition to fully detailed instructions on how to make this. So you can check that out on the blog. I'll link it here. But you just mix the tea leaves with boiling water and then let it sit. I like to leave mine for at least an hour. I usually forget about it. The longer you let it sit, the stronger it will be. I just added the boiling water, stirred it with the spoon, and let it sit. A lot of times when I'm making this in the summer, I'll go out to the garden in the morning, pick some basil leaves, get the tea started, and then go about my day, kind of forgetting about it. And then by the time I'm ready to come in for a break, the tea is ready to be mixed up and enjoyed. So this is after letting it sit for about an hour. I like to add honey and lemon juice. Here you can see I accidentally used lime juice. I didn't even realize it until after I finished making the tea and it still tasted good. So that's that's good to know, but I do prefer lemon juice. The funnel and strainer that I'm using here, I actually got a few months ago for making bone broth and it's been a game changer because I can add my regular strainer on top so it's double filtered and prevents the need to use like a cheesecloth or something like that. Um, you'll also need a second half gallon mason jar for this step to pour your tea into, which is what I'm doing here. And then I use the wooden spoon just to get all of the rest of the liquid out of the leaves before I throw those away or give them to the chickens or throw them in the compost, whatever you want to do with them. Um, and then it's best to mix the honey in when the water's still warm. So if you put it in the fridge and then mix the honey in later, it won't really incorporate. So at this point, the water isn't hot, but still warm and just enough to really get the honey to mix in well. 
adding the lemon juice is always my favorite part when I'm making this recipe with fresh basil leaves because the acidity in the lemon juice actually makes the tea turn a really pretty pink color. But for whatever reason, when making this with the dried basil leaves, even though it's the same basil, it doesn't turn that pink color. So I don't know the science behind why that happens, but it is a pretty pink tea in the summer with the fresh basil leaves and lemon juice, which is another reason why I like this tea because it tastes delicious and it's pretty. The blue spice basil, which is what I use for this tea, is part of the Thai or holy basil family and it does have medicinal properties. So that is something just to be aware of when you are using herbs, even if just using them for tea, you just want to make sure you know what their properties are. Um, for example, if you are pregnant, this is a tea that you might not be comfortable drinking. So just do your own research on that before consuming any herbal teas or remedies, but that's just in general um, a precaution that should be taken, not just with this tea, but any herbal tea. Here I'm adding our raw honey, which not only sweetens this drink, but adds additional nutrients to it. In the summer, you could also add some healthy salt and make this like a natural electrolyte drink. I got a nice close-up film here of me adding what was supposed to be the lemon juice, thinking it would turn pink. But like I said, it doesn't do that with the dried basil leaves. At this point, I just stir until the honey is fully dissolved and incorporated, and then the tea is ready to drink. It is still a little warm at this point, so usually for the first glass or two, I fill them all the way to the top with ice and then pour the tea over. And since I do usually let the tea brew for a bit longer, I then top it off with some water before putting it in the fridge just to stretch it a little further. But this tea is just so easy to make, it's healthy, like I said, it's become a staple for our family, especially in the summer, and making this has just got me so excited for this year's garden and warmer weather. Here in upstate New York, we've actually had a really mild winter compared to normal, but there's still nothing like spring with all of the signs of new life and feeling of hope. It's a really exciting time for me and makes me look forward to the season ahead. So. In the meantime, I will just be enjoying this tea and planting my garden, going through my seeds, starting seeds. I already have quite a bit of my cool flowers started or the ones that are a bit hardier and my peppers started and in the next couple weeks I'll be starting plants like basil and tomatoes so it's a really exciting time and I look forward to taking you along with me this year on that journey of gardening and preserving food and cooking it in the kitchen as well. So I hope you enjoyed this simple basil iced tea recipe. Thank you for hanging out with me today in my kitchen while I made this basil iced tea that is so reminiscent of summer. I hope this inspires you to think about growing some basil in a pot on your porch or in your garden this year to give this recipe a try. Be sure to check out the related blog post for more detailed instructions on how I make this. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you in my next video.